Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Fitness for Transformation. My name is Juan and today I will be guiding you through a new hit legs workout. Today's training is composed of a warm up, a three round circuit training and a cool down. Today's practice does not include a full body stretch. If you have not stretched, take a look at the link in the description below for my latest full body stretch routine. Get that done and come back and join us for today's practice. Let's take a look at the exercises that we're going to be performing in today's circuit training. Fast feet, wide and narrow. Reverse lunge to knee raise jump. Plank walkout to lizard lunges. Mountain climber plank jack combo. Bear crawl to crab walk. Squat jack to squat walk side to side. All right guys, let's go ahead and begin with the first round of our warm up. First we're starting off with a plank toe tap. Let's take it down to the ground and get into our starting position, which is a high plank. Make sure your joints are stacked, core engaged. What we're doing here is bringing our right hand to our left toes. Returning to our plank position and switching to the other side. Make sure that when you return to your plank, you don't hyperextend your back. You want to create a nice straight line from head to heel. Focus on getting your lungs fired up. Last couple of seconds here. And we're going into lizard lunges next. Return to your high plank. Left leg comes up outside of your left hand and returns to starting position. Alternate to the right side and repeat. Keep your core engaged and keep your booty low. Last couple of seconds here before we turn it around onto our backs for some glute bridges. Here we go. Turn it around on our backs. Knees are bent. Arms are out to your sides. Glutes fire up, come up to the top and engage them at the top. Hold for a second and drop. Bring them back up. Nice activation at the top here. Last couple seconds of this move and we're switching it up to our leg pull and extend your legs, sit up, arms come up to your head with your leg extended, lift them up and bring them to your chest. Inhale as they extend, exhale as they come up. This will wake your core up and your legs. Last couple seconds here. Great job guys. That was the first round of our warm up. Go ahead and take a 30 second rest and we'll be here for round two. Left. 
focus on keeping that butt low. Core engaged. Last couple seconds before we turn it around onto our backs for glute bridges. Here we go, turn it around. Knees are bent. We get right into the glute bridge. Get that glute engagement at the top. Bring it down. Lock it back in. At the top and repeat. Last couple seconds here. And we're moving forward with our light pull-ins. Here we go. Legs extend. Raise yourself up. Hands behind your head. Lift those legs up. Bring them in. Find your balance. Make a nice mind and muscle connection here. Last couple seconds. Great job, guys. That was round two of our warm up. Go ahead and take a 30 second rest, and we'll meet here for the first round of our circuit. Fast feet, wide and narrow. It's a three step. We have in, in, out. Simple. Left and right. Go ahead and join me. Make sure you're moving those arms. Fire those lungs up. We're focusing on our agility here. Bringing up that intensity. Once you get a little more familiar with the move, feel free to speed it up. We have 20 more seconds left on the clock. We're gonna be moving forward to a reverse lunge to knee raise jump. After this, in three, two, one. Go ahead and come up to your mat. Left leg goes back. Left hand comes up, and you're jumping up. We turn into that reverse lunge. We give you that nice jump up. If it's too much for you to jump, I want this. Nice strong lunge, and a nice strong knee raise. Otherwise, I want a nice strong jump. Before you focus on speed, make sure you got that form and the right coordination of the arms. Last couple of seconds here before we switch over to our left side or right side. Here we go, right leg this time goes back. And again, same motions. If you lose your balance, it's okay. Engage your core, find your balance, and join us and continue. Last couple seconds here, guys. And we're taking it down to the ground for a plank walkout. Lizard lunge combo. Make sure you're breathing here. Focus on getting those lungs fired up. Here we go. To the top of your back, slide that at the knees. We have a plank walkout. Get to the high plank. And we're lizard jumping and reverse that walk. Repeat for the next 30 seconds. Right, left, center. Focus on your core engagement here. Protect your lower back and keep that booty low. We have 10 more seconds left here. And we're moving on to a mountain climber. 
Plank jack combo. Here we go, last one, stay on the ground. Once you release your high plank, enter mountain climber two, and then plank jack two. Here we go, start to speed these up. Make sure your joints are nice and stacked. Knee up twice, plank jack twice. Last couple seconds. We got a bear crawl to crab walk next. Here we go, turn it around. Engage your crab walk. Bear walk, excuse me. We're crawling bear to the right. Re stand on your mat, turn it around. Go into your crab walk. Take it to your other side of your mat. And turn it back around. And bring it back and forth. Keep your neck and spine neutral. Focus on stacking your joints. Last couple seconds here. We're moving on to a squat power jack to squat, walk side to side. Here we go. Get to that squat, get me a jack, go down to the squat and walk it out. Once you reach the end, get that squat jack and walk it back and forth, baby. Here's the last round, the last move over this round. Give me nice squats, nice powerful squat jack. Last 10 seconds, guys. You got this, finish strong. Good job. Go ahead and take a 60 second rest. We'll meet here for round two. And our 
brain is coordinated with our muscles. Maximizing each rep here. Last couple seconds and we're switching sides. Finish up that last one and switch over. I like to inhale as I'm coming down. Exhale as I'm coming up. Find what breathing pattern works for you. And try to find strength in that breath. As that will definitely help you out. Last couple seconds here. And we're moving forward to our plank walkout to a lizard lunge. Go ahead and take it to the top of your mat. Slide back at the knees. Plank walk up to high plank and a nice explosive lizard lunge. Core is engaged. Protecting that lower back. Booty stays low. Seconds left on the clock before we switch it up to our mountain climber plank jack combo. Here we go mountain climber. We have one, two, one, two. Speed it up. Make sure your joints are stacked. Fire those lungs up. If you need a variation for this, hold the starting position or simply bring them in slow, one at a time. Here we go, guys. Turning it around. Bear walk to your right. Flip it up. Crab walking. Reach the end of your mat, flip it back. Knees are off the ground. Our joints are stacked. We're working on Landing our hands and feet at the same time as we can. Last 10 seconds, and we're going to our squat jack. Finishing it off. Here we go. Squat jack up. Come down to your squat, and give me a squat walk to the side of the other mat. Squat jack. Bring it back to the other side of the neck. You're doing great, guys. Keep up the hard work. This is the last move of the second round. Your legs should be burning, which means you're doing this right. We're not moving in vain. Getting those gains, baby. Here we go. Great job, guys. That was round two. Go ahead and take a 60 second rest. We'll be here for our final round.
This is the last and final round of today's circuit training. From the top again, we have fast feet, wide and narrow. This is it, round three. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Make sure you're moving those arms. Try to lift those legs up. Move a little faster. We're leaving all we got today on the mat. We're sweating it out. We're building our endurance. Keeping building that stamina. We have 20 seconds left. We're moving on to our reverse lunge with knee raise jump. In about five seconds. Here we go. Left leg comes back. Nice strong jump. Engaging your core. Using your breath. Utilize everything you've got. You got some air. Nice slide back at the knee. Help absorb that shock when you land. Again, work on your balance. If you lose your balance, it's all right. Just catch up. On moving. Here we go, switch to the other side. Nice strong coordinated movement. Nice explosive jump. as you jump up. Last couple seconds here, guys. We're going to plank walk out. Take it to the top of your mat. Slide down at the knees. Plank walk out to the high plank. When you get to that high plank, lizard lunge. Bring it back. And repeat. Give a nice strong jump. Strong walk out. You got this guys. Almost done. You're looking real good. We're burning that fat. Here we go. Finish off that last one. Stay down on the ground. We'll move to our mountain climber. One, two, plank jack. One, two, one, two. Keep on moving. Keep your strides low. Keep that booty low. Last couple of seconds here. Before we move forward to our crab walk, bear cross. Here we go. Switch it up. Bear crawl. Moving slow. Nice and assertive. Nice and strong. Once you got it, speed it up. In through your nose, out through your mouth. We breathe. Keep that heart rate up. Keep breathing. Keep the base down that mat. Even that squat jack. And squat it out. Keep that squat jack. Try to gain that air. Keep 
Last 15 seconds. You guys got this. And the neck's still rolling up. Finish strong, guys. Last couple seconds here. Great job, guys. That concludes today's circuit training. Go ahead and take a 60 second rest. We'll be here for our cool down. Nice 
stretch on your left glute. Go ahead and release the left leg and bring in the right leg. Right hand grabs the right knee, left hand grabs the right ankle, and we're pushing our knee, pulling our leg across to our left shoulder this time. Should feel good on the glute. Next up, we have a reclining bound angle pose. Fancy, fancy term for an adductor stretch. Okay, here we go. Legs come together. Knees go out to opposite sides. Place your hands on top of your legs. And just let them sit. Let your adductors stretch out. Weight of your own legs. After this, guys, we have a hamstring stretch with our left leg. Push your legs out in front of you, just as so. Bring your left leg up. Grab your left leg below the knee with your both hands. And bring your leg towards your chest. Make sure your legs stay straight. And play with the flexing of your foot. You'll notice that this will definitely put in some protection on the knee if you flex your toes towards you. Go ahead and switch sides to your right leg. Nice hamstring stretch here. Again, play with that foot. I like to push my toes towards me. As that definitely plays a part in protecting my knee and giving me a little more of a stretch. Last couple of seconds, and we're turning it onto our back. Release the leg, turn around, lie on your belly, grab your right ankle and your left ankle, gaze comes down, and simply lift your legs up off the ground. Should feel a nice quad stretch here. Great job, guys. Go ahead and release that slowly. That concludes today's training. That was an awesome circuit. I had a pleasure training with you. My name is Juan. This has been Fitness for Transformation. I post instructional fitness routines every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for watching.